Rejoin the EU campaigner A.C. Grayling has demanded a referendum on Boris Johnson's Brexit deal. After months of gridlock negotiations, the Prime Minister secured a historic Brexit trade deal with the European Union, days before the end of the transition period. The agreement was based on zero tariffs and zero quotas. But while Brexiteers up and down the country celebrated the new trade deal, which came into effect at 11 p.m. on December 31, others have attacked the agreement. Author and rejoined the EU campaigner, A.C. Grayling, has demanded a referendum on Mr. Johnson's trade deal. He tweeted, how many of these expats were denied a vote in the referendum? By the way where's our referendum on the deal, one-third of the electorate voted for Brexit in 2016, since then votes for non-Tory parties have exceeded votes for Tories in every election, and we've Brexited. His comments come after consumers in the EU were hit with unexpected import fees when ordering goods from Britain following the end of the transition period. One Briton living in France was handed a €48 Euros bill to cover customs fees after ordering a shirt, according to the Times. According to the European Consumer Centre, an EU-wide advisory service, said people living in Europe will no longer pay British VAT when they buy goods from Britain, but will pay VAT imposed by the country of their residence. A petition has been launched calling for a referendum on the final Brexit deal. It currently has more than 100,000 signatures. Announcing the deal on Christmas Eve, a Downing Street source said the country has taken back control of our money, borders, laws, trade and our fishing waters. They said, deal is done. We have taken back control of our money, borders, laws, trade and our fishing waters. The deal is fantastic news for families and businesses in every part of the UK. We have signed the first free trade agreement based on zero tariffs and zero quotas that has ever been achieved with the EU. We have delivered this great deal for the entire United Kingdom in record time, and under extremely challenging conditions, which protects the integrity of our internal market and Northern Ireland's place within it. The Downing Street source added, the deal also guarantees that we are no longer in the lunar pull of the EU, we are not bound by EU rules, there is no role for the European Court of Justice and all of our key red lines about returning sovereignty have been achieved. It means that we will have full political and economic independence on January 1, 2021. A points-based immigration system will put us in full control of who enters the UK and free movement will end. We have delivered this great deal for the entire United Kingdom in record time, and under extremely challenging conditions, which protects the integrity of our internal market and Northern Ireland's place within it. We have got Brexit done and we can now take full advantage of the fantastic opportunities available to us as an independent trading nation, striking trade deals with other partners around the world.